most people think of ambition as perhaps a financial gain, but um, my ambition would be more about achieving um, my intrinsic goals, which would be creating and helping um, other people create and then also um, at the same time making them aware of perhaps environmental issues. And have these always been your priorities? Certainly my priority has always been to invoke um, a love of art and in my teaching and I, I would say still that I'm First love is, is teaching and imparting a love of art. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? Yeah, that's a really hard one. But most recently, probably the most amb person whose ambition is in line with mine uh, would be Matt Harty, who actually donated the Kauri Cobbles for my latest works. Um, and he has very similar ambitions for... Waiheke and for his, he's got a young family of two whom I've been teaching recently and he's really ambitious um, for Waiheke and the environment in a similar way to me. My other hat is, uh, has been, um, for the last five years, has been um, on the Community Art Gallery Committee and our vision is to um, create Waiheke as an island as, of art um, and so I've been very involved in, from that aspect and as part of the education subcommittee uh, we're wanting to make the committee, the, uh, sorry the gallery, community gallery more a place of learning as well. People love the story, but the story's behind my work too. So that's another important aspect to my art, that it does have a story. Um, the initial work that I did using my deep, uh, recontextualising my dad's paintings, um, they really, people really loved that story. They were astonished that I should cut up my dad's work, but um, he was very pragmatic. And I'm following in his footsteps really because he he was a bank manager initially and then he gave that all away at 55 um, to paint landscapes. He was self-taught but he had this theory, philosophy that um, anyone should be able to afford an original artwork.